Okay, in this tutorial we are going to solve uh, this question which is saying a track covers 40 meters in 8.50 seconds while uniformly flowing down to a final velocity of 2.08 meters per second. Part A, find the track's original speed which is the initial speed, then part B is saying find its acceleration. Okay, so now, <clears throat> first, uh, before you solve any question for physics, the first thing to do is to come up with data. So as you can see, I've come up with data, I have the displacement, which is, you can say D or X or S is okay. That is the displacement. Okay, so our displacement is 40 meters, per, uh, 40 meters. the time is 8.50 seconds, then we have the final velocity as 2.80 meters per second. But we don't know the initial velocity, we also don't know the acceleration. So as you can see, I've put a um, question mark on accel uh, acceleration and the, the initial velocity. Now, we have got five, uh, four equations, many equations, which we need to be familiar with. Okay. Now, if you know these formulas, then you are safe. So the first formula which you need to be familiar with is uh, uh, to find the average velocity is going to be equal to the initial speed plus the final speed divided by what two. The second equation is if you want to find the final velocity and you have the initial velocity, you also have the acceleration, you also have the time. This is the equation which we can use. The third one is um, if we know the displacement, which we can, we can say d, then or we want to find the displacement, we know the initial velocity times the time plus half a t squared. That is the third equation. The fourth equation is uh, the v final squared has to be equal to the v initial squared plus 2ad. So these are the formulas which we need to know. Okay. Don't worry. You, uh, we are not interested on how we can drive them, but we want just to see how we can apply them. Now, in this case, we want to find the initial velocity. Okay. So remember, we do have the time. We are going to get the equation which has got time, okay? But we want to find the initial velocity. So what what we are going to do at first? I want to we are going to use um, this equation, okay? We know that we don't have time there, okay? But we have the initial velocity, and we oh, we want to find the initial velocity, and we want to find the displacement. Again, we can also use this formula. So now, those are the two formulas which we are going to use. So what you are going to do is, first, we are going to come and uh, we are going to, to say the final velocity is going to be equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times t. We have the final velocity which is 2, so I'm going to put 2.80 has to be equal to, what is the initial velocity? We don't know. Plus, what is the acceleration? We don't know. What is the time? 8.50. Okay, so this is the same as the 2.80 has to be equal to V initial plus 8.5 times A. Okay, so let's call this one as equation 1. Now, we can just put this one here. We say we have 2.8 has to be equal to the V initial plus 8.5 times A. So this is our equation 1. Now, let's get rid of this. Okay, let's get rid of this. Now, we want again, we, as you can see here, we don't know the initial velocity. We also don't know the acceleration. So as long as you have got equation where you have two uh, variables which you don't know, we are supposed to use two equations. So we are supposed to get another equation which is going to help us to find, which is going to help us to find the initial velocity. Okay, so which other equation can we use? Apart from this one, which we have already used, we can use this equation. We can say that d is equal to v initial times time plus half a t squared. Okay? So now we know the displacement already is what? Is 40. So I'm going to put 40 here. Has to be equal to the initial, I don't know. The time, I know, is 8.5. Then plus half. The acceleration, I don't know. The time, I know, is 8.5 squared. Okay? So then I'm going to have 40 has to be equal to, this one's going to be 8.5 V initial plus. If I do 8.5, I square it, then uh, divide 2, which is the same as times, times 0.5. 
okay which is the six uh, point one to five <clears throat> or we can just say anyway it's just okay then we have acceleration there okay so now we can say that this is our equation two okay so now if that is our equation two we also don't know the initial velocity we have two unknown vari <coughs> variables like we don't have the initial velocity we don't have the acceleration so now we have two equations we can choose we want to make we can make acceleration a subject of formula like the first equation or oh, let me just do this let's just create space okay and then let's light this one here we are saying that this is going to give us it is 40 has to be equal to 8 point 5v initial plus 36.125 times acceleration okay so this is the first equation now that first equation we're going to get it and solve for a we make a a subject of formula so we're going to say that um, the equation is 2.8 has to be equal to v initial and then plus 8.5 times acceleration so we can shift the v initial to the other side it's going to be 2.8 minus v initial i've just shifted this one to the right hand, left hand side then it is it is positive it has gone to the left hand side it's going to be negative so this one has going to be equal to 8.5 8.5 let me write that 0.5 times a okay so before we continue if you want to access more videos and more tutorials remember we solve tutorial sheet we solve the past papers also conduct tuitions at transcended institute just register with transcended institute and you are going to enjoy our services okay so now let's continue we want to make a a subject of formula okay so i'm going to divide both sides by 8.5 even here i'm going to divide both sides by 8.5 okay so now i'm going to have my acceleration is going to be equal to 2.8 minus v initial we divide everything by 8.5 meaning that in the second equation this is the second equation where there is acceleration we are supposed to put 2.8 minus v initial divided by 8.5 okay cool let's just get rid of this data okay so now um we are saying acceleration is going to be equal to 2.8 minus v initial we divide everything by 8.5 okay so now um we want i can just get rid of this we are going to use the second equation okay so the second equation is 40 has to be equal to 8.5 times v initial plus 36.125 times acceleration so where there is a we are going to replace this this equation okay so now um maybe you don't know how you can join transcended institute okay so if you want to register with transcended institute just whatsapp this number 0767 729927 so just whatsapp this number then you'll be able to 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 get the link or if you want you can just uh go now our uh, website which is www.transcendedinstitute.com then you'll be able to make payment using the same website if you don't know how to make uh, payment using the website you can just call or whatsapp that number which is there now let's continue we want to replace where there's a we replace with 2.8 minus uh, v initial over 8.5 so what we are going to do now is uh, i can just get rid of this okay so we are going to say that is 40 has to be equal to 8.5 v initial plus 36.2 5 and then where this a we are going to put now 2.8 minus v initial everything divided by 8.5 so now what i'm going to do now is um, i'm going to divide this state 6.125 with what eh, 8 so that eh, i eliminate what eh, uh, the bottom part so i'm going to have 40 is equal to 8.5 v initial plus i'm going to say the 6.125 divided by what 8.5 okay so that one is giving me um 4.25 okay open brackets we have 2.8 minus v initial 
So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to di distribute 4.25 everywhere inside there. So I'm going to have 14 has to be equal to 8.5 the initial plus. So I'm going to say 4.25 times 2.8. Okay, I'm getting 11.9 minus 4.25 the initial. I can shift 11.9 to the other side, which is going to be 40 minus 11.9 has to be equal to 8.5 the initial minus 4.25 the initial. Okay, so now we have that one, we have 40 minus 11.9. Okay, so 30 minus 11 point, 40 minus 11.9, I'm getting 28.1, has to be equal to, what of 8.5 minus 4.25, I'm getting the same one, 4.25, the initial, let's divide both sides by 4.25, let's divide both sides by 4.25, okay, cool, now, <clears throat> after doing that, we need to, uh, these they are going to cancel. Then we are going to remain with uh, V initial is going to be equal to, we are going to have 28.1 divided by what? 4.25. Okay. So I'm getting my initial velocity as 6. Point, I'm getting 6.61. 6.61 meters per second. So that is my initial velocity. That is part A. Now part B is saying find the its acceleration. Remember, we have come up with this uh, formula already. This is our formula, guys. So now that formula, what we are going to do is, uh, what we are going to do is, we are going. We know that we have, we 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 don't have the initial velocity there, but we have found the initial velocity already. So what we are going to do is, um, we need to understand this before you we we calculate. It was decelerating. It was coming to rest actually, meaning that the acceleration is going to carry a negative, meaning it was decelerating. Okay, so we're going to have the acceleration is going to be equal to 2.8 minus V initial divided by what? Uh, 6.61. So where there is initial here, we're going to plug in that value. Okay, so we're going to say that acceleration is going to be equal to 2.8 minus 6.61. We divide everything by, sorry, here is... um down here is 8.5 8.5 yeah so we're going to divide 8.5 so we're going to say acceleration is going to be equal to so what is 2.8 minus uh, 6.6 minus 6.61 I'm getting negative 3.81 divide this one by what 8.5 Okay, so I'm getting my acceleration as negative 0.4, it's 448, but we can just say 4, 5. Okay, it's 4, 5, not 4, 8. 4, 5 meters per second squared. So that is the acceleration. Okay, so this is how we can solve this question. But now, if you want to access more questions with proper explanation, just register with Transcendent Institute and you're going to access all the videos. Remember, we also offer good services, tuitions at affordable prices. Just WhatsApp that number, then you'll be able to access everything. Thank you.